Hey Willowend, it's week three of distance art learning. Great still life's last week. I think this week let's do uh, the heart window art that's been going around. I did some brief research. Someone might want to do some deep research, but it looks like it was started by a woman in Galesburg, Illinois. Her name is Krista Wines, and I think we should add to this clever and kind of social phenomenon that's going on. So again, I know everyone has different materials at home, but the thing you will need um, to participate in this week's assignment is paper. So if you have construction paper, great. If you have uh, old recycled paper, get it out. Otherwise, dig through some old magazines. Um, try to find some paper or paper-like material. Um, you also need a writing utensil or a drawing utensil of some sort. Um, I'm going to use a permanent marker because um, it'll show up better for the video. If you have tape, go grab it. Um, Double-sided tape is the best, but most of us might not have that. So any clear tape is better than masking tape, but any tape will do. Also, grab a pair of scissors if you have it. If you don't, there is an option without scissors. All right, for our younger learners, or for those who want a quick recap on how to make a heart, here's the most common way to make a Valentine's-esque heart. Um, make sure you use the folded side, not the open side, but the folded edge, and you'll draw half a heart on that folded edge. Um, keep in mind that whatever you draw is not permanent because the cut is permanent. So if you want it a little smaller than this or a little bigger than this, then you can adjust that during your cut. And there we go. Now keep in mind, try not to waste paper. Um, you're going to use the center a lot of the times, but find different spots on the paper to get creative, get resourceful, and um, use up as much as that paper as you can. Also, you don't have to do hearts this way. You can freehand a heart and cut it out as well. I like doing this for more stylized hearts. So if you don't have scissors or tape, then this is going to be pretty tough. So what I want you to do instead, only if you don't have scissors and tape, is get a larger piece of paper, the biggest one you can find, maybe a newspaper, and make the biggest heart you can, and tear it out carefully. You can make several of these if you want, depending on how many pieces of paper you have at home. And then take your art supplies and decorate it or write a nice message or something like that. I also would like to mention you don't have to draw the heart ahead of time. If you're pretty confident or you've done a lot of these, then you can just freehand cut out a heart. If you don't have tape but you have glue, um, you can get back into our collage mindset and you can cut out some hearts and find a surface piece of paper and make a design that way. Think stained glass and then you could hang that up in your window or lean it up against the window if you don't have tape. So those of us who do have tape, I would like us to put them on the window. Preschoolers, I think you guys can cut out six hearts make them different sizes and different colors and I would like you to hang up six hearts throughout your house. Kindergarten and up, I think we can make pictures out of it. Now I highly, highly, highly recommend planning it out ahead of time. You could draw lots of hearts over and over but since it's just a sketch you'll save a lot of time, or at least I did, if you just make circles and plan out where they're going to go for your design. If you have colors at home, you can color coordinate them to help better visualize and plan your design. So this whole project started to promote social distancing, to show neighbors, and the world that we're all in this together. So in the spirit of this, I would highly recommend you team up with whoever you're living with and either plan a big design together or help each other cut out a bunch of hearts and do your different designs on different windows.
but this project really lends itself to collaboration, so if at all possible, please team up with members in your family or whoever you are living with. So if you happen to be like me and do have lots of colored paper at home, then get it out and get creative with it. Um, use color like you do with any other media. Um, get different hues and shades and it will really add to the success of your design. Now here I'm using scotch tape or invisible tape because that's what most people have at home and just stick it up like this. Keep in mind the view is from the outside. So if you have two sides or two different colors of the paper make sure you're putting the correct one for the outside to see. Now if you want to prepare ahead of time you can get lots of strips of tape or maybe a helper can get you lots of strips of tape prepared. If you do happen to have double sided tape then just stick it to the side that's going on the window the outside and put it directly on. This looks the best but isn't as common found around the house. Now I like to paint with it so I did not do a design plan out a design like I showed you guys so here I'm just kind of painting with it. It all depends what kind of artist you are. There's no right or wrong way. Now this isn't finished. This is still in progress but this is what the design I'll be making this week. Now we had a lot of leftover hearts from our demo cutting on how to collaborate so we decided to make another design, more abstract design. You may notice some familiar names on this design. But that's our assignment for this week. Let's make some inspiring heart window art. Let's join the world in this unique time and spread some love. Wouldn't it be so cool if you did your design and then you noticed some people in your neighborhood um, began to follow along? I think that would be really cool and the whole point of this project. So recap, preschoolers, I want you to cut out six hearts all by yourself. Try to have them different sizes and different colors if possible and post them on the window. And then if you want to work together with your family to do what the older grades are doing, kindergartners and up, I want you to make a design out of hearts with whatever type of paper you have at home. So you might have to adjust your design depending on what paper you have available. Happy art making and assembling. I'm looking forward to seeing all your designs at the end of the week.